Hello and welcome back to Midnight Who Blog. I'm Patrick, and uh, sorry there wasn't a video on Tuesday. There is a pretty valid reason for not having one. Um, I was in a car accident on Tuesday, which may have completely totaled my car. And while neither of us were severely injured, um, I've been having to walk around with a cane the past few days. Uh, because I already have lower back problems and the uh, car accident didn't really help that. Um, so it was a single car accident. It was um, the uh, back wheels kicked out from behind me. Uh, I had almost got it back under control, but I slightly overcorrected and I didn't have time to react when it started going the other direction. And it flew off the road. It was probably doing about 30, 25 to 30 around the time that it flew off the road. Um, went through a couple trees uh, and then kind of slid on its, oh, it slid sideways, it wasn't on its side, sorry. Um, never flipped or anything, so it wasn't like any cr crushing of the roof that would have caused us injury. Um, but yeah, so I'll. I've had to try filming this a few times, so I can't remember if I already said, but if not, I'll put a video of the damage. I took a video of it after the accident, and I'll put that up in this corner here. Um, or maybe this corner down here. I'm not sure which one yet. I'll see where it fits better. Um, so the other person in the car with me, I should point out, was my cousin who is 18 and almost uh, not, sorry, not almost 19. He turned 18 a few months ago. Um, and there were some people that came by after the accident, which I can understand concer being concerned, to ask us if, our, if we were okay. Uh, we explained to them, yes, we were okay. I mean, we were walking around, we were fine. Um, my back wasn't really hurting at the time because of the adrenaline was still going from trying to regain the control of the vehicle um, because that's what happens in times of crises I don't know if that's the right word but that's the one I'm going with um, so we were we were walking around we were fine I mean the car was smashed which you'll see in the video um, so I can understand people being concerned and wanting to know if we're alright but when we stated that yes we were alright and we asked them to please go away because we had had a very long day up until that point and that was just the latest in a long string of bad things that happened on that day um, which I'm not going to go into all of them but uh, it ended up getting pulled over for hanging up my cell phone because I was stopped and using my phone and then I started going as I was hanging up the phone and a motorcycle police officer happened to be driving by at the same moment that I was hanging up my phone and putting it down so he gave me a ticket for being on my phone which is yeah, ticket pink paper ridiculous I'm gonna have to go to court and dispute it um, it was a newer cop otherwise they would have recognized me because uh, my well not not because I'm a troublemaker I, I'm not I'm really not a troublemaker but my grandparents used to be foster parents uh, so the police were out here all the time and we were acquainted with almost everyone on the police force uh, and this was a new guy that I had never seen before and my aunt was in the car with me and she'd never seen him before either and yeah, I don't know how long he's been on the force, but probably not very long. 
Uh, otherwise, he would have recognized my family because we've known them for years. Because um, they always had to come out for some reason or another because my grandparents took the foster children that were more difficult to place. Uh, and most of them were fine. There were a couple, though one of them is currently in prison for a long string of thefts, and the one that finally pushed it into grand theft was he went in and stole a donut, so he ended up getting eight years, and the thing that got him eight years was stealing a donut, so not the brightest of people. Um, and his brother's not all that bright either, but he's at least got a job and a house. But I'm I'm getting off track. The uh, purpose of the video. So I asked them politely to go away after we had clarified that we were fine and that we were, had the getting the vehicle moved covered. Uh, and they some about half of them went away. There were uh, still a few that stayed and were just started really being rude because my cousin while he is over 18 isn't a very big person he's like a small person uh, especially standing next to me he's like a foot shorter than I am um, so okay maybe not a foot I'm exaggerating slightly but he's only like five six or so um, and super skinny so he looks like a child um, and they were getting on to me for supposedly endangering the life of a minor and we had to explain that he's not a minor he's over 18 and he didn't have to be in the car he could have taken the bus but he chose not to so I had to drive into because I was in town anyway so I had to go and get him again beside the point uh, the point is, if you see someone in an accident, it is alright to ask them if they're alright, and make sure that they're okay. If they are fine, and ask you politely to leave them alone, leave them alone. Because chances are, if they are have been in a car accident and they're not wanting people around, they're probably already having a bad day, and don't want to deal with people. And the police are going to come by anyway because they have to for any accident, which was entirely unpleasant for me. A police officer was the last person I wanted to see after my accident, but they, they have to because they have to assess property damage. Because uh, I hit a tree. Oh my god, it's a tree! Sorry. I'm going to have to put a warning saying extreme sarcasm in the beginning of this video. I'm not a fan of irritating people, and at that point in the day, police officers were high on the list of irritating people. Um, especially when they're threatening you with jail time for hitting a tree when your car is sitting there totaled. And, is, and I actually got word from the uh, auto shop earlier that it's going to be about six and a half thousand dollars to fix which the insurance isn't gonna pay because it's worth more than the car is so they're probably going to be doing giving me the blue book value of the car and I'll they're just gonna scrap it or something um, but anyway so, basically what I'm trying to say in this video is, don't be a dick. Okay. Um, I understand the officers, their job to do, uh, like, their report, but don't threaten someone with jail time for hitting a tree. Because that's, I mean, if it's a national monument tree or a landmark tree, that yeah, okay, it might be necessary if they hit it on purpose or if they were drunk 
I, I have never been drunk in my life. Uh, the most I've ever had to drink was the tiny wine samples that they give you at Olive Garden. And the last time I was at Olive Garden was several months ago, so I, I was not drunk. I was probably being a bit of an asshole at the time, because as I said, I had been having a very bad day leading up to that point. Um, anyway. But the pedestrians, uh, simpletons, the ones that were there, not not all pedestrians are simpletons, but this these two were were trying to pick fights with me for whatever their stupid reasoning was. Were I asked them to leave me alone, they said no. Uh, you're endangering the life of a child, which I wasn't. Uh, I. Repeat, repeated asking them to go away please uh, and they st still wouldn't so the third time when they were getting increasingly more rude uh, I told them to piss off and to leave me the fuck alone uh, so they responded with say that to my face uh, so I did I turned around and I said that directly to their face and they said no come up here so I saw I don't didn't want to fight, so I walked away. But that guy was infuriating, and I really, really wish I had a bat or something so I could have got it out of the car to try and frighten him. Would have actually hit him with it, no matter how pissed I was. Cause I've been I've been being good with the nonviolence. Um, no matter how much people infuriate me. Anyway, this video is getting a bit longer than I was planning, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Basic moral of the story is don't be a dick. Simple. Whether it be trying to pick a fight with someone who's just been in a, in a pretty serious car accident. I mean, serious enough that it totaled my car. Um, whether we were fine or not, it, it's beside the point. You don't. It's unnecessary to try and pick fights with someone, just because, because you think you can fight them and beat them in a fight. Which, yeah, it's possible. He was a biker. He had muscles, sort of. And I mean, I'm not exactly the fastest of people. Fastest one in my family, yes, but. That's because they're slow. <laughs> um, but no, even even my cousins, I'm faster than them. I run, I do run really fast, which is surprising given my size, because I'm like a bigger person. Also, I just remembered I gotta be up in uh, about two and a half hours. I gotta be up to take kids to school, so that'll be fun. Anyway, um, so thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Um, I'll Hopefully you had a better day than I have. Um, actually, today wasn't too bad. Um, well, I mean, today hasn't been a bad day at all. It's only been four and a half hours, and I've been on my computer most of it, so it's been a rather good day. Um, <laughs> nah, so just keep having good days. Life happens, but you'll get through it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.